in an operating system, what is the purpose of the device manager? Is it A, to manage printer settings? Is it B, to monitor network traffic? Is it C, to manage hardware devices and drivers? Or is it D, to create virtual machines? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, to manage hardware devices and drivers. Device Manager allows users to control and troubleshoot hardware components and drivers. Device Managers help install, update, and resolve issues with hardware drivers. Think of Device Managers as a hardware dashboard, controlling and maintaining devices. And for the incorrect answers, to manage printer settings, this is not primary purpose of device manager, to monitor network traffic, network uh, monitoring tools are separate from device manager, and to create virtual machines. Device manager does not create virtual machines. And for the next question for exam, question number two. And the question states, what is a term for a malicious software that disguises itself as a legitimate application and infects a system? Is it a phishing? Is it B, ransomware? Is it C, Trojan? Or is it D, firewall? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, Trojan. A Trojan is a type of malware that appears harmless but performs malicious actions. Trojans trick users into downloading and executing them, often leading to data breaches. Imagine a Trojan like a spy. It, it hides malicious intent behind a legitimate facade. And for the incorrect answers, phishing is a social engineering attack, not a type of malware. Ransomware encrypts files and demands payment, different from disguising as a legitimate software. And the firewall is a security tool, not a type of mal malware. And for the next question for exam, question number three. And the question states, in which operating system is File Explorer the default file management utility? Is it A, Windows? Is it B, Mac OS? Is it C, Linux? Or is it D, Android? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is A, Windows. File Explorer is the file management utility in the Windows operating system. File Explorer provides a graphical interface to manage files and folders. Think of File Explorer as a digital filing cabinet, organizing and accessing files. And for the incorrect answers, Mac OS uses Finder as a default file management utility. Linux distributions typically use File Manager on similar utilities, and Android uses the Files app or File Management. And for the next question for exam, question number four. And the question states, what type of attack involves a hacker attempting to access a system by repeatedly trying different password combinations? Is it A, phishing? Is it B, brute force? Is it C, denial of service? Or is it D, ransomware? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is B, brute force. In a brute force attack, hackers systematically try all possible password combinations. Brute force attacks rely on trial and error to find valid credentials. Imagine a brute force attack like trying every key in a lock, eventually finding the right one. And for the incorrect answers, phishing is a social engineering attack, not based on password guessing. Denial of service floods a system with traffic cause and disruption, and ransomware encrypts files and demand payments, unrelated to password guessing. And for the next question for exam, question number five. And the question states, what is a software package that combines multiple programs and features into a single application for easy installation and management? Is it A, antivirus? Is it B, firewall? Is it C, sweep? Or is it D, BIOS? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, a suite. A suite is a collection of software programs bundled together. Suites offer convenience by providing multiple tools in one package. Think of a suite like a toolbox, various tools for different tasks in one place. And for the correct answers, antivirus software protects against malware, not necessarily a software package. A firewall filters network traffic unrelated to software suites. And BIOS is the system firmware, not related to software suites. And for the next question for exam, question number six. And the question states, a user reports that their computer screen displays distorted colors and images. Which software issue is most likely causing this problem? Is it A, malware infection? Is it B, corrupted graphics driver? Is it C, lack of RAM? Or is it D, CPU overheating? You now have five seconds.
And the correct answer is B, Corrupted Graphics Driver. A corrupted graphics driver can lead to display issues. Graphics drivers translate data into images on the screen. Corruption can result in display problems. Imagine a graphics driver like a translator. If they make mistakes, the message is distorted. And for the incorrect answers, malware may cause various issues, but distorted colors are likely a hardware or driver pro problem. Insufficient RAM can affect performance, but is less likely to cause distorted colors, and CPU overheating may cause system instability, but doesn't directly impact the graphics. And for the next question for exam, question number 7. And the question states, which security measure verifies the identity of a user by asking them to provide something they know and something they have? Is it A, phishing? Is it B, two-factor authentication? Is it C, intrusion detection? Or is it D, ransomware? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is B, two-factor authentication or 2FA. 2FA requires both knowledge and possession. 2FA enhances security by adding an extra layer of verification. Think of 2FA like accessing a vault, needing a key and a combination. And for the incorrect answers, phishing is a type of social engineering attack unrelated to 2FA. Intrusion detection detects unauthorized devices, not necessarily 2FA, and ransomware encrypts files and demands payment unrelated to user verification. And for the next question for exam, question number 8. And the question states, what is the term for a self-contained package that includes everything needed to run a piece of software, including code, runtime, system tools, and libraries? Is it A, patch? Is it B, service pack? Is it C, application suite? Or is it D, container? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is D, container. Containers package software and its dependencies. Containers provide consistent environments for applications to run. Imagine a container like a portable workshop containing all tools for a job. And for the incorrect answers, a patch is a software update, not a self-contained package. A service pack is a larger update that includes multiple patches, and an application suite bundles multiple software programs, not necessarily contained packages. And for the next question of our exam, question number 9. And the question states, what operational procedure involves documenting how to respond to different types of incidents, ensuring consistency and efficiency in handling them? Is it A, asset management? Is it B, change management? Is it C, incident response? Or is it D, patch management? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, incident response. Incident response documents procedure for managing incidents. Incident response plans help organize, minimize damage, and recover quickly. Think of incident response like a fire drill. Everyone knows what to do in an emergency. And for the incorrect answers, asset management tracks hardware and software, not incident response. Change management oversees system changes unrelated to incident response. And patch management focuses on software updates, not incident procedures. And for the last question of our exam, question number 10. And the question states, what is the purpose of a hypervisor in virtualization technology? Is it A, to manage network traffic? Is it B, to secure user data? Is it C, to create virtual machines? Or is it D, to encrypt files? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, to create virtual machines. Hypervisors create and manage virtualized environments. Hypervisors allow multiple virtual machines to run on a single physical machine. Think of a hypervisor like a theater director, current coordinating performances on one stage. And for incorrect answers, network management is not the primary role of a hypervisor. Data security is important, but not the primary purpose of a hypervisor. And file encryption is a separate security measure from hypervisor functions. Don't forget to read all questions carefully. Don't rush and make sure you fully understand what is presented in the exam. Take your time to memorize all the acronyms and what they represent. Also make sure to go through all the exam's ob objectives from the CompTIA official website so you know what subjects to expect on your exam day. For a more comprehensive list of exams, you can check my Udemy Instructor channel where I've posted a number of exams for the CompTIA A+. The tests consist of 90 questions each and they are very similar to the official CompTIA exam. The link to my Udemy channel is presented down in the channel's description. Ladies and gents, this is the end of our exam. 
If and only if you found this video informative, make sure to drop a sub and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Peace!